Yo, welcome to another video. I am your Tactical Power Pro. If it's your first time checking my channel, welcome. I am an Air Force veteran, a former electrical power production technician, which is a fancy way of calling a general mechanic in the Air Force. I consider myself some sort of a superhero. I'm an electrical engineer during the day and a general mechanic at night. <laughs> All right, let's keep it serious. So I started this YouTube channel because I want to share with you my experience, skills, and knowledge in the electrical power system field as an electrical engineer and a generator mechanic. And hopefully my videos can help you learn more about your generator, understand what's wrong with it, and how to fix it. So please go ahead and overcrank that like button and subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. So let's waste no more time and let's go straight to today's video. In today's video, we'll be talking about the Generac Extreme Cold Weather Kit, which includes the battery pad warmer, the oil warmer, and the breather warmer. Generac cold weather kits keep key generator components warm and operational during the most brutal cold weather temperatures. The kit includes a battery warmer and additional accessories that differ from model. The cold weather kit used in this video can be used on Generac 9KW through 22KW models. I will leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description box below in which you can buy your own Generac Extreme Cold Weather Kit while supporting my channel. Now let's look at what comes in this kit. The battery pad warmer rests under the battery. It is not necessary for use if you already have an AGM style battery. The breather warmer is only used in extreme cold weather applications. And the oil warmer sleep directly over the oil filter. And as a side note, if you're installing any cold weather items, it is required that the oil be replaced with 5W30 synthetic oil. Here we have a Generac Guardian 22KW model, which is a residential generator. The generator only has around 1.8 hours on the clock. It is set up to automatically start once a month, but when you try to start, it throws an overcrank fault due to the temperature reaching closer to zero degrees Fahrenheit. We recommended the customer to get a Generac cold weather kit, but he insisted on getting an extreme cold weather kit. Before you start performing the installation, make sure the generator is in off. Once it's in off, remove the side cover so you can get access to the battery and the customer connection panel cover. Once you remove the side cover and got access to the battery, Go ahead and remove the customer connection panel cover. In here is where you're going to be working on connecting your lead wires. But go ahead and install the battery heater by removing the protective backing from the adhesive side and placing it on the battery tray. The connector should face the rear of the enclosure. Now connect the lead wires of the Y harness to the connector points N1 and N2. It does not matter which lead wire goes into N1 or N2. The Y harness you just plugged in has two sockets. Connect one to the battery warmer and pass the other socket through the customer connection panel grommet to reach the oil warmer. Slide the oil warmer into the oil filter and test for 240 volts at the Y harness socket before you plug your oil warmer. Now let's move on to the final item of this extreme cold weather kit which is the breather heater to reach the breather hose you will need to remove the air box cover the intake elbow the l filter the air box base the snorkel and the mixer once you remove the mixer you will have complete access to your breather hose the lower mixer screw is accessible through a hole in the engine divider panel wrap the breather heater around the breather hose evenly spaced with the lead wires at the bottom. Once installed, wrap the breather heater and hose with the silicone tape provided to secure the heater. Pass the lead wires to the harness grommet in the engine divider panel plus the customer connection panel grommet and connect the heater leads wire to the T1 terminal and the neutral stud. Now that the installation is finished, let's put everything back together, make sure everything is secure, and let's start that generator.
Overall, the breather holes can be a pain to get to, but other than that, the installation is pretty simple. The Generac call with the kit really works. Our customer called us back really happy because his generator started with no issues for the first time at a temperature of five degrees Fahrenheit. That's it, yo. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to overcrank that like button and subscribe to my channel. And always remember that knowledge is current times voltage.